you know, honestly, I thought the, the first quarter w was solid, decent. Um, I thought, you know, we, as we continued to score a little bit, um, you know, I think our mindset shifted, you know, as, as far as, hey, we can trade baskets, stay in this game. They're, they're a potent offensive team, um, you know, and, and they, they, from the end of the second on, you know, they really kind of pushed the tempo and really um, put it on us. So, you know, there, there's some things to clean up, but, you know, on the flip side, I, I thought, uh, you know, we played hard, um, tried try to continue to play together, play the right way, um, you know, move the ball, especially in that first half. But, uh, you, know, it, you know, the defense, obviously, they're three quarters of, you know, 30 plus. You know, they, they scored 99 points in the last uh, three quarters. And I thought that started really toward the end of the half. They had a, a big run there. Um, and I think that helped give them momentum, you know, that, that bled into that third quarter. What did you think about the offense after halftime? It seemed like, were you happy with the looks? Because it seemed like you still were getting good looks and even um, some baskets right at the rim, but just didn't finish or didn't um, fall on some of the open ones. Yeah, overall, I mean, I think it was it was decent. I thought first half was really good. Uh, second half, uh, I thought we started to stagnate a little bit. Um, I think 18 assists in the first half, I think only eight in the second. And some of that is shot making, but, you know, continue to, you know, move the ball. Um, you know, in a timely manner and get fine guys when, when, you know, when the ball should find them helps obviously your efficiency. But um, I thought we started to hold it a little bit, you know, and that, that helps the defense quite a bit. You guys forced uh, quite a few turnovers in the first half and were able to cash them in on the other end. Um, what changed in the second half? Did they do a better job of protecting the ball or was it a difference in the defense? No, I mean, clearly a difference in the defense. And I'm sure, you know, that was a point of emphasis for them at half. Um, you know, there were some coverage issues, mistakes, or lack of communication, but, you know, the, you have a number of, of guys out there who haven't played a ton of minutes and haven't been in those situations. Um, so, you know, overall, I thought, you know, the, the effort was, was great. You know, obviously that the result, you know, there's a lot to be desired, but uh, there were some really good moments. What were your first impressions of Ish Smith? Pretty much what I expected. You know, I, I know he's going to push the tempo. He's He's going to harass the ball. He's, uh, he's got great hand activity. He moves his feet well. Um, so you know, I can you know, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, so I'm very pleased with uh, his effort tonight. What what did you see from Corey Kispert tonight? Um, Corey was really good. Has, yeah, no, he was really good. I mean, I think it's you know, once again he's he's starting to string a few games together where uh, not only playing at a high level but you know playing consistently. Um, and finding ways to impact beyond just catch and shoot, um, you know, screening, rolling, slipping, all those things are different, um, different things that, you know, he's added throughout this season. And so it's good to see them, you know, carry into a string of games and, and have an impact on, on how we've played. Yeah, it, it, we talked about that, you know, a few days ago, uh, just talking about how, how many games you played um, in one season versus, you know, you could argue is the, past the midpoint, but before the break, you know, it's like almost close to two seasons worth of college. Uh, so uh, everyone talks about that rookie wall. You hit that wall at some point. Um, I, I don't know. He's, he's done a terrific job with his conditioning. Uh, he puts in a ton of extra work, so I'm sure that helps. Um, but I think the game is, is slowed down for him. So he, he's not rushing. He's, he's more on balance. He knows when to cut, why to cut, you know, how to play um, uh, with other four guys on the floor. Um, so I think that's important for a young player to kind of start figuring out not just what fits me, but what fits the group um, at that right time. Kuzma had the triple-double last game, kind of flirted with it again tonight. What's working so well for him right now? Well, I think the space that, that we play in, and, you know, he's obviously a willing playmaker. Um, you know, when he rebounds and pushes, you know, more often than not, good things happen. You, know, you got to be mindful of the of, of turnovers at times, but you have to live with some of them. He's trying to make the right play. Um, but, you know, I think that's just another sign for him that uh, if we can, you know, push with pace, obviously we have to get stops. But uh, playing in the open floor has been you know, beneficial for us. Neil. Hey, Coach, I know you obviously don't like to, you know, judge just based on one game or two games. 
but do you see that Ish could potentially be a starter uh, moving forward? Yeah, I don't want to necessarily, you know, paint myself in a corner, um, but, you know, obviously he's, he's been around, you know, he's a solid vet, he knows his skill set, knows how he can impact the game. Um, and he does a lot of good things. I think the pace is, is terrific. His, his ability to stay in front and harass, harass the ball. Um, you know, he, he's shown more confidence in his jumper over the last few years, um, but he still lives in the paint. Um, so I don't know if it's, uh, you know, you don't want to rush to judgment, but you know, I think that, uh, you know, having him back in the fold is going to help us. I'm not going to necessarily commit to changing the lineup or anything like that, but he's certainly capable of, of impacting and helping us. Thanks, Coach. Last question to Wayne. Hey, Coach. First off, just uh, just want to get your positive um, from tonight, especially with, you know, Corey just shooting the ball more confident as one. Uh, there's no question. I mean, part of it is the, the, the ball movement and, you know, the ball's finding him. Um, he does a great job of cutting, respacing, finding that three-point line. Um, and as we've talked all season, I think the game, once again, is slowed down. So he doesn't feel rushed. He, he understands, you know, what, what's an open shot. And maybe early in the year, um, he would have turned some of those down. Uh, not thinking he was open, but you have a, a small window, you know, to make, to make a decision, either to shoot it, you know, drive it, get off of it. Um, and if you don't, that window's lost. So I think, it, you know, now that he's more comfortable, you know, with the speed and physicality of it, uh, we're seeing it play out and he's been more effective. And lastly, Coach, just wanted to get your thoughts on how you felt like you all guarded the paint tonight and also your thoughts on the rebound. Uh, or initially, I thought we, we, we were solid with the paint. Um, you know, we, we struggled at, you know, once they got going. And they, of course, they hit some tough shots late, uh, mid range pull ups. Um, did a decent job on the glass. And I think uh, six or eight total offensive rebounds, you know, for that team is. Is, is solid, especially with the amount of switching. And, you know, we've downsized quite a bit, um, you know, with, you know, limited window with TB. But, um, you know, the, the, they pretty much got everything. The threes, um, they got out in transition, um, and then they got to the line. So, you know, even when we were set, we, we were unable to defend them without fouling. Thank you, Coach. We have one more in-person question. Wes, what have you seen so far from Thomas Bryant defensively, and, and where would you like to see him go from here? Oh, well, you know, I think he, he he's still trying to, um, you know, get his legs under him. You know, I think we, we've been more aggressive with him on the floor, and I think that suits him. Um, you know, it makes us over, overall more aggressive, which probably, you know, lends to some of the deflections and turnovers we we forced tonight. Um, but I think the biggest thing is, you know, he he has a voice. He's very good at articulating it, but it just, just reading and processing and, and, and communicating sooner. I think that's the biggest thing. What do you think made the difference for them in the second half? Um, excuse me. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, between the second, third, and the fourth quarter, they scored 99 points. And I feel like that's just a sums up, sums it all up, you know, for us. We got to do a better job defensively. Um, you know, Grant, you know, they're really good. Um, offensive team, you know, they, they get up and down a transition and then also they can play through some bonus in the, in the half court, but, um, you know, we just got to tighten the screws up on that end. So. what do you think about the element Ishmith brings to this team? Um, you know, we saw a little bit of them and, um, you know, he just does a great job be, just being a point guard, um, uh, being traditional, uh, pass first. Um, you know, I love how he's always looking up, up the floor at, at uh, potential, you know, transition opportunities and, um, you know, he does a good job getting to the elbow and, you know, getting to, getting to a shot. And, um, you know, he knows his game and, you know, we're, we're excited to continue to play with him. Oh, I mean, I think Corey's got, you know, tremendously better, um, you know, all throughout the year. I think he's done a great job of um, just being himself, not uh, not playing outside of him. Uh, he's doing a great job, of, you know, catching the shooting, running the floor in transition, uh, solid on defense. And, you know, he's a winner. You know, he's, um, you know, went to school at Gonzaga and, um, you know, they won a lot of ball games there and, you know, know knowing how to play the right way. It's been an easy transition for him coming into the NBA and, um, you know, from October until now, um, you know, 
he's almost did a 180. So um, just from a development standpoint. So I like where he's at a lot. Uh, shots in the second half didn't fall like they did in the first, but were you happy with the looks that you guys were getting and how the operation still ran in the second half? Yeah, I think we got good looks. I think uh, we did a great job again tonight um, sharing the ball. I think, um, you know, I think offense, it wasn't stress. It wasn't tense. Um, you know, the only stress part about our offense tonight was not necessarily making enough shots, but, you know, you live and die with that. As long as you're getting the right shots, everyone's involved. And, um, you know, we're getting quality looks. You know, you just got to live and die by it. Neil? Hey, Kuz, I know you've talked previously about, you know, if you see something, you'll say something to the younger guys, try and help them along. It seems like there was one time with Denny in the rotation, one time with Thomas, maybe, you know, rolling. Do you feel like you have to take on an even bigger role now that, you know, Brad is not necessarily on the court? Um, I mean, I'm just trying to win ball games at the end of the day. Um, obviously, we're down bodies, and, um, you know, I have the ability to do more, and, you know, I'm just trying to do it all. Um, you know, that may not be scoring all night. That may just be finding the right man and getting team uh, teammates involved, being, a, um, you know, being an encourager and, um, you know, just trying to string something along. And, um, you know, this is my focus right now, so. Thanks, Kuz. Mm-hmm. Last question to Wayne. Hey, Kuz. Uh, if you having the ball facilitating more, what are you seeing out there that's allowing you to have these high assist games? Uh, you said you're down bodies, but just what are you seeing out there that makes you have such a high impact? Well, you know, um, you know, the defense is really keying in on me, and you know, I understand that. You know, a lot of times when I'm driving in transition, teams are trying to load up. You know, when I have the ball in the half court, they're loading up. Um, you know. Pick and roll coverages, they're up at the level. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm just making the right play. And um, that's what you're supposed to do every single night. So, you know, we see high assist numbers. I mean, you know, I'm just taking what the defense gives me. And, um, you know, I'm trusting my teammates to hit shots. <clears throat> and lastly, because I asked Coach this uh, pregame, but that Roy Coos Denny lineup, uh, it looks pretty, pretty well. What, what are you noticing from that, that three man lineup as well? Uh, I mean, I think from a defensive standpoint, um, you know, it's 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 worked a little bit this year. Uh, still, you know, small sample, but, um, you know, I like it. You know, I think our next step, you know, continue to play with that lineup um, is just trying to find cohesiveness on the offensive end. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's easy when you play like that drive and kick game, but, you know, when they score, we're coming down slow and, and, and the defense is set, you know, we got to figure out a way to, um, execute amongst us and, you know, try to feel like, you know, what are we going to get into? Uh, what actions are we get, going to get in? So um, it looks right offensively. But uh, overall, you know, obviously us three, we're all smart basketball players. We can, you know, figure it out. Um, you know, we're going to have hiccups, but uh, that's part of the game, part of life. So career highs and both points and assists tonight. You know, what was working so well for you and, and, you know, you just kind of keep progressing, progressing. Uh, you know, is everything just kind of feeling well right now and kind of clicking for you? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely some stuff to clean up. Um, been working really hard with um, our skill development people, kind of ironing out a few things. Um, but, I mean, as far as my play on the court, yes, I feel much more comfortable. Um, can get to my spots and know what I want to do. Um, and as far as the assists go tonight, I mean, the credit goes to everybody else. Um, they were able to knock down shots. I mean, Rui, Kuz. Hope um, ish. Uh, those guys made it really easy on me, and um, defense was kind of flooding over. So that one more, one more pass was was natural, and, it, and they knocked you down. What element did uh, Ish bring tonight that you think uh, is um, could, could be used for, by this team? No, oh, he just elevated our pace a ton. Like when he was out there on the floor, um, he was a threat at all times, uh, passing or you know scoring. He's got a great mid range game and. Um, he was not afraid to share the ball too. So, and he even brought a big defensive presence too. I mean, he was po poking, uh, getting steals, poking those away, um, and really making an impact on defense too. So, I mean, I was really happy with how he played, and um, I can't wait to uh, play with him more. As a shooter who is as good as you are on catch and shoot plays, um, do you like playing with pace? I mean, in, in transition threes and the opportunities that type of style can. Create? Oh, absolutely. I mean, not not only just for 
people who are shooters like me, but just for the offense in general, you know, um, you know, with our, with our, with our stud, Brad, you know, we got to you know move the ball and create pace and, and make the defense work, you know, a little bit more than we would if Brad was around. So um, that transitions the first step to that, um, making the defense think a little bit and try to steal a few easy buckets here and there, you know, never hurts anybody. Yeah, people kind of warn me about that going in. And it doesn't really matter if you play for the number one team in the league or the, you know, the 30th team in the league. Like, I was going to lose more games in a year in the NBA than I did my whole college career. Like, that was just how it was going to be. So, um, it was, I mean, and people warn me about it. And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. But um, it's tough. It's a tough adjustment. And uh, losing is never easy and it's never fun. But, um, you know, uh, just kind of adjusting and seeing how other guys – Take it and move on and learn the lesson uh, really quickly. Um, really helps. You had uh, played your way into the rotation already, but um, just what do you think about the opportunity now that the young players have to get minutes and shots? Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's great. Um, I think I know me, Denny, and Rui specifically are really thankful for it. Um, and, you know, we're not, you know, trying to steal shots from each other or anything like that. Um, we love playing together. I love playing with those guys. And, um, you know, just kind of the way that things shook out. I was able to stay ready all year, you know, all year long, and those guys were too. And, um, you know, it was just a matter of time before things started clicking. As someone who goes way back with Rui, what have you thought about his development as a three-point shooter? Oh, yeah, it's been great. It's been great. I mean, I remember the days in college when guys would – um, sit at the free throw line in garden, you know, it was just, it was a little bit of, you know, respect for how good he was driving the ball. Um, but now he's a legitimate threat from outside and he's knocking down shots really consistently. And, um, it just adds a whole nother element to his, ga his game and just unlocks, you know, where he can be. What have you got specifically? He's worked, um, really hard on adding arc to his shot and it seems like it's helped. Mm -hmm. um, what's been your vantage point on that? Yeah, I mean, clearly it's working. I, uh, Shoots a really soft, soft basketball. Um, the arc helps with that, a ton of backspin. So uh, if it catches the inside of the rim, it's, it's going to trick in. So um, I like the game plan we've got for Rudy really going forward. And if he sticks with it, he'll be just fine. Yeah, it's a, lot, a lot of it is nerdy shooting stuff. Um, really minute details that um, would bore you guys for me to explain, honestly. But um, it's helping me be more consistent, uh, get more arc on the ball. Um, and also, you know, now that I've played my way into the rotation and I'm playing more minutes, um, getting into a, you know, the next level of shape in order to make shots throughout the entire game. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter what, you know, color of jersey they're wearing. Uh, it's always good to see him. Uh, he competes really hard. He's a really good player. Um, and he has a lot of respect for both me and Rui. So um, seeing him, taking a picture of him after the game and kind of chatting about his last 48 hours was was awesome. Uh, he's one of, the, one of the great guys in the NBA, and I uh, look forward to seeing him again soon. Uh, no, you know, just just keep your head down, keep working hard. Um, you know, things like that. It's pretty universal advice from everybody at this point. Neil. Hey, Corey. Uh, kind of just generally, you've now gone through your first kind of NBA trade deadline uh, in your career. I guess just for you, what was that like? Oh, it's, I mean, it was, you know, it's, it's a lot more intense now that you're in it, right? Um, it's fun to monitor whenever when you weren't in the NBA, um, you know, with you and your buddies talking about it, but now that you're involved in it, it adds a different level of intensity. And, um, you know, it was just kind of really interesting to sit back and watch it. Um, you know, thankfully I was um, one of the people who, you know, got, got through the trade, the trade deadline with stability, and I'm really happy for that. And I'm um, really looking forward to pushing with this team um, over the next couple of months. And you kind of touched on it with, you know, next level of conditioning. Obviously, the NBA season is a lot longer than college season. How do you think you've been able to adjust to that so far? 
Oh, it's been good. Um, I've been, you know, I've been working through soreness like everybody does, but, um, you know, knock on wood, but no, no injuries or anything like that so far. So, um, feeling great about my conditioning plan, how I'm taking care of my body and, um, been able to get out there every night and give it my best. Thanks, Corey. Last question to Wayne. What's good, Corey? Just ask coach earlier about it, about just your confidence with you shooting a rock. You said it was a small window, but you're making good decisions. Can you just talk about your the volume of your confidence with your shots now? Uh, repeat the last question, the last part of the question. Could you just talk about the confidence of you, you know, having a high amount of volume of shots now? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not, you know, it's no set game plan. I just, I feel like I'm taking the right shots. I'm shooting them open. Um, you know, guys are breathing confidence into me. They want me to shoot those shots. And um, so I can't, you know, can't not feel good about that. Um, you know, it's a matter of time before, you know, more shots start going in and they're, and they're not. Um, that's the kind of shooter that I believe myself to be. Um, so just having that confidence from everybody else and from myself um, is a good precursor to good things happening.